Hi, I'm Mr. O Mingyo. Okay, I'm going to discuss how the depth of the water will affect the speed, frequency and wavelength of the wave. Okay, um, down here we have a wave that is travelling from deep water to shallow water. And the lines here are actually the wave fronts of the wave. Okay, um, so what is the difference between deep water and shallow water? Okay, um, at the bottom of the water, right, there is actually friction between the water bed and the water. Okay, and this friction is going to translate uh, layer by layer all the way to the top where the, where the waves is. So, in the case of deep water, right, the, this friction has to translate through many layers of uh, water particles. And when you reach the top, right, the friction actually decreases. So, in this case, right, for deep water, the friction will be lower. And for shallow water, the friction uh, at the top, it will be higher. And due to lower friction, the speed of the wave is going to be higher. And, and for shallow water, since the friction is higher, the speed will be lower. Okay. And now, um, when we talk about frequency, right? The source of this two wave are the same. So for frequency, it's going to stay the same. And for wavelength is equal to the speed divided by frequency. So um, since this has a higher speed, right, it's going to give us a larger wavelength. And for shallow water, it's going to give us a smaller wavelength. And if you were to draw the wave front uh, for shallow water, right, it's going to be smaller, like this. 